I'm Tracy from the Alan Saying Cat. I'm bringing this video as part of our Get Sony Sewing Machine. Um, of course, you may have seen our other videos that we're uploading, showing you different things of how to do on your machine. So basically, on this one, we're going to cover how to do a buttonhole. So on your machine, look for your buttonhole number. On this particular machine, I'm going to do, let's do a keyhole buttonhole, which is always a nice one to do. So we're going to do number 44, which is at the bottom. It may be a slightly different number on your machine, um, but most rubber machines are kind of the same. So we're going to select 44. So we've got units and our pens here. It tells us at the top what foot we need. Your machine may have a dial, but it's going to be the same thing. It will still tell you what foot you need. So we need foot A, which is this one here. This is our buttonhole foot. It'll be closed like that, and you're going to open the back up, and then you can pop the button in there and close that back up, and that's going to hold that button nice and tight for you. Always make sure the button's to the back of the machine so that the A that's engraved in the front is facing the right way. And then we're going to pop that one on. It's going to clip onto that bar just like any normal fit. So you're just going to lower that one down and clip it on. There's one more thing we need to do, and there is a buttonhole lever which is hidden to the side here, and you just pull that one down. Okay. So you pull your buttonhole lever right down there. It's got a little buttonhole on it so you can see that sketch. And then you're going to place your fabric underneath. Now always remember the buttonhole is going to work, it's going to make a buttonhole going backwards so make sure you've got enough fabric behind. And then just away you go. What the machine's doing is measuring that button and then it's going to make sure that that buttonhole is the perfect size for that button that's gone in there every single time. Obviously you need to decide where you want your buttonholes to go and mark those all up before you do this. The best way to do that is with a vanishing marker pen, I find, because then it won't damage your fabric if you suddenly realise you've marked it in the wrong place. The machines are slowing down on its own and stopping. That's because it's finished the buttonhole, it's done a knot, and now it's finished with the needle down. If you're lucky enough to have a machine with scissors, it will have cut those threads for you too. We can pull that one out and cut them manually on the side, however. So that has then completed the buttonhole. Now, in order to open that buttonhole up, you're going to grab your quick unpick. Again, any brother sewing machine is going to come with a quick unpick for you. And like this. And I'm also going to grab a pin because sometimes people get a bit excited when they cut their buttonholes and it gets a bit runs away with you. You can easily go too far and then cut right through your buttonhole that you've done. So by putting a pin across the top, it should help that. So start at the beginning and take it slow because buttonholes are always the last thing you do. You don't want to ruin your project by doing that. And cut those ends off just to neaten it off like that. I'm going to switch and put the pin the other end and just go back down just to make sure that I've got right to the end and go right back the other way, which I have done. And then we can take our button and you'll see that that button then fits through that buttonhole perfectly every single time. And that's how you do your buttonhole on that sewing machine. If you have any other questions, do get in touch. If you've got any questions on your button sewing machines. Thank you.